Good morning children. We are going to start our second chapter of computer. Hope you are keeping well and following the instruction given by the government. Stay home. Stay safe. So today we are going to talk about the graphical user interface. Our operating system. This operating system is a regular operating system which you use known as Windows. Now, what is the meaning of this operating system? Operating system is like a person who stay work as an interpreter. Like if you meet a Chinese person and he don't know English, what, how you will talk with that Chinese person? You need a person in between you and that Chinese person. The person will translate your word into the Chinese and again the Chinese word into your word. So this person will be known as interpreter. Same way, when you are going to use a computer, you need a software which will translate your instruction into the computer language so that computer understand and execute the things. After execution, the desired output which you required to be translated back into in your own word or language, that is also done by the same interpreter. And this particular software is known as operating system. They not only translate this informations, they also manage and manipulate all the hardware. You have already learned about hardware in the first chapter. Those all hardware, keyboard, mouse, screen, CPU, disk, everything is managed by this operating system. There are two types of interface over here. Interface means the method of interacting with the computer. Now these operating systems, these operating systems are of two types. One is command line interface, another is graphical user interface. This interface means the program which actually works as a translator. Now the mode of interaction is different. One is typing, another is pictorial. While you type, they are known as command line interface. Here what happens? User type the commands to the computer and press enter to execute the desired action. Now, whereas a graphical user interface provide you a pictorial method, pictor pictures in front of you, you just click on those pictures to execute your desired work or action. Now let's see what exactly the two methods. One method is command line interface. This is the simple thing, text space. You can see the black screen over there, one prompt is there. In that prompt, you have to write or type a command and press enter. If the computer understands that command, it will execute according to your desire. But if it doesn't understand, it will respond you the error. This is an example of command line interface. And the name of the operating system is over here is DOS, Disk Operating System. Find that it is a Windows 10 screen. Okay, dear. Now, you, if you want to switch on the computer, you have to go through some procedure. Those procedures are what? You have to connect the power cable to the switch and that power cable will be connecting to your UPS. And in the UPS, there is a button. That button, if you click, 
the UPS will get on and get ready to give the power to the CPU. Now what you have to do? You have to click on the CPU power button. After you make the CPU power button on, if your monitor is not on at the right hand corner or left hand corner, according to the different kind of monitors company, they provide the switch to make it on. So you just click over there and your monitor gets on. And when you switch on the computer, then you find one small screen again appears. That screen is known as desktop screen, which you have seen just before and that is called desktop screen. And when the desktop screen appears, when it gets ready, at the bottom you get a taskbar and in the middle of the desktop, desktop you get the different things like icons, you get uh, background, you get the pictures over there and system icons and all. In the taskbar, if you just see, there are three different areas out there. On the left hand side, you have a start button. In the middle, all those directory uh, drives, information, small softwares and all, they are called quick launch toolbar. Means if you click on these icons, they will be executed immediately. On the right hand side, what it shows is a notification area. On the right hand side, it shows the notification areas. Also, it shows the desktop button. Also, it shows the desktop button. Is it clear everybody? Now we can move on. There is a start button is there. That is on the left hand side corner of the taskbar, which actually a link all the documents, application, whatever is installed in your computer, they are linked with the start button. Now, as soon as you click on the start button, you will get sub menus and menus and you can get all your application link and you just click on the link to execute your applications. Now here I have shown you which part is called what the part which is at the bottom that is called taskbar on the left hand side corner there is a start button and the small icons small pictures which you see on the screen they are called icons they are called icons now icons are what the small labeled picture or symbols present on the desktops they are called icons and taskbar taskbar is what it is pre it's a rectangular things, uh, a rectangular long horizontal bar that is you can see rectangular long horizontal bar present at the bottom of the desktop by default. It can move anywhere on the screen, on the right, on the top, on the left, anywhere you can move them. But in by default it appears at the bottom of the screen and on the left hand side of that corner of this taskbar there is a button which is called task sorry start button is it clear everybody so we move into next part now when you are going to execute this particular icons informations whatever is linked with that icon maybe directory maybe subdirectory maybe a software whichever you want to execute first you have to click over there single click will select the icon after selecting the icon it will be highlighted and then if you want to delete them you can just click on delete button or you can right click over there and just go for the cut option so you can delete it and after selecting if you want to execute what you have to do you have to double click on top of that now, if you see the adjacent and non-adjacent item, selecting an adjacent item, left click on the first item to be selected. And now if you want to go on selecting more, then what you have to do, you have to just shift, press the shift key and go down to any number, any number and anywhere if you click, 
what will happen all the icons in between will be selected whereas if you want to select one of your choice another of your choice not the continue but continuing one that means non adjacent items then what you have to do you have to press control button and then click on a particular item and then you can go to another item anywhere in the screen click over there so what will happen the icon first you have selected and the second time when you have clicked only these two will be selected none of the other icons will be selected in between so that is called they are how you can select non adjacent items now how to open a program simple program open is just click on the icon which you want to select and press enter key as soon as you press enter key it goes on executing otherwise what you can do you can go at the start button and you can use the run option there is a run option is there modern days it is coming as a simple text box and over there what you do you type the name of the software and press okay the same way it was just selecting the icons and pressing the enter here what you have to do you have to go to the start button select the run option a text box will appear there you will be providing the name of the software and press okay now we can move into the next part. here different types of desktop icons we are going to talk about arranging how to arrange the desktop icons on the desktop there are different number of icons are there now if you want to arrange them there are various way of arranging now when you want to arrange them what you will do you will right click in the blank area of the desktop as soon as you right click a menu will appear and then in that menu there is a options called view and you will select that option view and after selecting you can go and do the auto arrangement now when you go for the auto arrangement automatically it will arrange according to the specified way otherwise you can arrange in a different ways like arrange the name list large icons small icons and different way you can arrange next when you want to short the icons you want to arrange the icons alphabetically or you want to arrange the icon according to the created date suppose first i have created on first second i have created on seventh third i have created on eighth like this way if i have created three different softwares or three different files and if i want to arrange those file icons according to the date i can choose by date then you can go for by size you can go for by name and you can go for by size also if the file is very big that should be coming at the last and if the file is small that should appear at the beginning i can short accordingly now when i want to change the background background means the picture i talked about the desktop in the desktop there is a picture is there at the background and if you want to change the background what you have to do you have to right click on the desktop anywhere in the blank then you have to get a options called personalize and you will select that personalize option and in the personalization option you will select desktop background as soon as you select the desktop background there will be lots of options of the background will appear and lots of images multiple images will be appearing now according to your choice you can select any one of the image and click on ok and as soon as you click on ok save the changes button and it will save the change means it will change the background when you don't work on a computer for a long time what happens computer screen automatically saves the power with the help of a software that software name is screen saver this screen saver pop up 
with some kind of image or movies or pictures so that the front end of the screen doesn't get spoiled with the power so that's the time when you it is if you will leave your computer idle for a long time it automatically pop ups this is called screen saver now how i can provide a specific screen saver according to my choice what we will do same way right click on the blank area of the desktop select the personalize option in the personalization box there is a options called screen saver and over there in the screen saver there are number of list of screen savers will appear from there you can choose any one of those options from predefined already created screen savers are there you can choose any one of them or you can choose a 3d text where if you choose a 3d text it will give you a uh, options to write down what you want to write when your computer is idle or and we how for how long means if you leave your computer idle for a specific number of minutes after how many minutes it should the screen show should uh, saver should appear on the screen that will be uh, given with the help of wait options and then you click on okay so when you click on okay your screen saver will set up now in the screen saver you can put lots of pictures also suppose you have a thousands of pictures with you you can select those pictures and make a your own screen saver also apart from the text you can make the pictures as your screen savers also now in your computer you will find that various types of utilities are appearing like time date and all other small small things they are called gadgets like if your cpu is very hot or all if you want to know the weather of the current weather if your computer is connected with the net that every day's weather prediction and all you want to get windows will help you to get those information from the net and it will display on your screen and to display that there is a specific type of software sir that there and these softwares are called gadgets and these gadgets will appear on the screen with some information for you so to uh, to make this gadget on what you have to do again same thing right click on the desktop select the gadget option whichever gadget you want to make it on on your screen you can just select that one and make it on on the screen it will appear on the screen and according to your requirement it will display the information that's called gadgets now when you are using a computer you have to understand after using the computer your computer required to be shut down and when it shut down that time what happens it closes all the open software and keep it in a safe place and then it switch off the computer so when it does it is a very important task it is doing so then it just required a procedure the procedure is what click on the start button and select the shutdown button and when you select the shutdown button what will happen your computer will close all the active files and if you have anything left open this all files will be closed and kept in a safely and then it will switch off the computer so it don't, you don't have any kind of problem over there now when you are using the computer you want to leave the computer on but you want to save the power within the computer there is a two different methods of saving that one one is called sleep another is called hibernate sleep is a power saving state within the system draws only a small amount of power in this case your computer will be sleeping and you have to make it awake after some time hibernate mode saves all the open document means your computers 
is not only saving the power it's saving your document suddenly if the power is switched off in the hibernate mode then what will happen you can you will not lose your documents because they are kept running applications is in the hard disk it just uh, saves all the open documents means whatever the documents are open it is saved in your hard disk when you switch on the computer again you get the backup of those data then when you start your computer you can start your computer suppose your computer is not working what happens when it is working it start your computer as normal so that is known as normal mode and if you want to make any kind of diagnostic means some kind of like a patient required a diagnostic same way your computer when it is sick that time it is not starting properly it requires a diagnostic and when it is a required a diagnostic it requires to be used in a safe mode and when you are going to open in the safe mode it is literally different from the normal mode in the normal mode default operation mode of windows and safe mode is for making some kind of changes troubleshooting diagnostic the normal mode all the files drives for the hardware in a computer are loaded during startup means everything there is a whole the procedure been taken care and then your computer is started up whereas in the safe mode windows loads with a limited set of files not all the files are not loaded only limited set of files essential for primary function means to start the computer you need a primary function and your basic input output system and all other things should be working properly that only those softwares are loaded on the case of safe mode next in the normal mode in normal mode windows appears in high resolution whereas high resolution means the screen appears with a proper visibility whereas in the case of safe mode it doesn't appears that clear so that is what exactly it is it is appears in the limited colors and lower resolution in normal mode no label is displayed as compared to safe mode means when you switch on the computer there is a nothing no label is in put no even normal is not also written it is normal means nothing is labeled on the screen but if you start with the safe mode it will be appearing with the safe mode label at the background so dear children we have come to the end of this chapter i will be discussing the question and answer in the next class so what we have done how what is the windows operating system we have learned how to what are the different pictures we have uh, appears uh, what they are called we have learned how to start your computer uh, uh, programs you have learned what are the different things you uh, are there in the taskbar what are the things are there how what are the different mode of uh, 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 mode of uh, computer operation you know now the safe mode a normal mode and all other things we have discussed so please get ready i will start with the question answer in the next session thank you thank you for the things